Howdy partners. Bloody hell. Sweating like a, a pig in the proverbial plastic mac. Unbelievable. 12 degrees. 12 degrees. And warming up all the time. Now the sun's coming out. Yesterday it was minus eight. So that's a 18 degree rise in temperature over 12 hours. And yesterday, all this place here looked like Narnia. Everything was covered in a thick white rime of frost. green again quite warm imagine the amount of energy that it cost it took to raise the temperature 18 degrees and just melt all that snow if you could convert into kilowatts it will probably be enough to um, produce electricity for Western Europe for a, a month or something if you think how much energy it would cost to get a load of one kilowatt electric heaters to melt all the snow and ice around everywhere and work it out that way, that's a lot. But nature just sweeps it in, and no worries. Everything's become colour again. It was all black and white yesterday, and today it's all saturated again. Yep, energy from the sun. It gives us and take us away. All our energy comes from the sun and ultimately comes from the sun. And uh, we come from the sun. And the sun will eventually destroy us and take us back one fine day. And we all know about cancer and how they over the years, uh, the DNA become less good at duplicating themselves and they're always getting bombarded by solar rays and cosmic rays and each time it gets bombarded, little bits of the DNA get damaged and the next time the cell gets renewed, sometimes that dam damage is repaired and as you get older And sometimes it's not repaired. Then you get cancer. Let's go and have a little look here. Let's look out. Always reminds me of somewhere in, in Italy, this place here. Private, but I'll just have a look out of the balcony. So I don't want to go out of the sun really, I want to stay in it a bit. Just see what happens going along here a bit. I better put my hat on because I've been sweating like mad going up that hill. You know, it's getting chilly, I don't want to get a head cold. I couldn't decide today to go on the bike or go for a walk. But in the end, the Sasha masochist in me said, go for a bike ride. Because I need to give myself a bit of a punishing. Get the old uh, heart and liver ticking over full power. And it's kind of nice to get in the car and just drive up in luxury to the best looking place and step out into your boots and have a little 
little wander round, but I felt I had to push myself a bit today. Been cooped up in the house in front of the fire too long in the cold weather. What I was saying before about those sunbeams, that cosmic solar radiation coming down and attacking you, radiating your DNA, causing damage. It makes me think about microwaves, microwave food, irradiated food. And I read something in the paper today, or online, in the internet, in the world of the internet. The next thing to come out is that microwaves are bad for you. That microwave food is bad. And it's a similar sort of principle if you think about those radiation, banging into molecules, shaking them up, making them warm up, Brownian motion on a big scale. And there's reports out now that microwave food, it's got hardly any nutrition in it. And it's subtly changed the molecules of protein and stuff become unfolded. And, and it's a kind of a new territory for your body then, because your body's grown up with certain ways, certain foods that you can digest. And when you start getting alien stuff, put into your body then maybe strange things happen so I think that'll be the next big thing microwave is bad for you and because I'm a smug bastard I've never ever used a microwave and refuse to have one in the house and another smug report it's getting a bit more snow here Margarine. Remember how good they said that was for you and how bad butter was for you in the 70s? I remember it really clearly. Summer County margarine, margarine, stalk margarine, part of the calorie control diet. And some other piece of nonsense in the internet I read that margarine is only one molecule away from plastic. I don't know if that's true, no idea, but uh, I can imagine it to be true. And I say if you put margarine out, nothing happens to it now, flies go on it, nothing touches it, because it's got absolutely no nutrients in it, and the only nutrients it's got is what, what's been added. Right, it's not a good way this, because it's quite slippy here. Anyway, I stopped eating margarine when I was 10 years old. It's not because I was a little 10 year old swat who says, ooh, in 30 years they're gonna say margarine's bad for you. It's because I got an allergic reaction to it. I used to eat margarine, and then I used to get a humdinger whammer migraine attack afterwards. Really bad, like somebody inside my head with a press luft, inside my head with a, a uh, press luft ammo, I can't remember what it is in English. Anyway, someone banging hard on my head. And uh, ever since then, I never ate margarine. Or any products with it in. Even biscuits were like margarine in uh, I used to get that headache from them. So, luckily I've missed out on the microwaves and I've missed out on the margarine. So maybe I'll live forever. But on the other side, saying I'm clever and avoiding these things, but I use alcohol and nicotine like a fool. So it all balances out at the end of the day, doesn't it? So whatever you say, I never believe what these so-called bloody experts say, because I just in my experience in my life, they generally end up talking out of their ass and just following whoever's lobbying them at the moment whether it be the margarine industry or the oil industry or whatever industry's got a, an agenda and wants to sell something to you. Nobody cares about your health. You've got to look out for it yourself. 
And that's why I say I've never used a microwave. And I've never used a mobile phone either. Because I think they fry your head as well. You know, it's just too near to that, that uh, solar radiation knocking off them DNA on you. Knocking off the genes and stuff on your DNA. It's just too near to it to me for there not to be a connection. I'm not an expert, I'm just going by intuition. Intuition's a pretty amazing thing, really, because no one understands it. And it's a... That's the 90% of your brain that they say you don't use doing all the work, and that's where intu intu intuition comes from. Secret calculations. I've been taking many photographs today, it's too... Too grim. Too dark. So we must be climbing up quite a bit here. Yeah? Well, it's steep enough, but snow's increasing. So we're on top of a hill somewhere, but there's still trees up here, so can't see anything much. Yeah, sorry, it's a bit of a boring video. This is just, it's more just to wanted a bike ride. Get a bit of uh, adrenaline and histamine going. So I wonder where we're going to come out here. Funny how often in the woods you, you just find one little spot that's got a little kind of magic about it somehow. Maybe it's just where the sun comes through the trees or just something, a feeling. And this is one of those places. I'll just stop here for a minute because uh, it's nice to feel the sun rays. So I have to go home and have a hot shower now. I'm covered in mud. And then birds. See those lights flickering there through the trees? A mate of mine had an epileptic fit on his bike from that. And he went into a kind of a trance and went straight over a stone bridge and into a river. Broke his uh, shoulder bone. Hello. 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 So the sun goes down on our little bike ride for today.